there's a man staring at me and it's very intense. Dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning! Look how cute this little bum is. She was sat up there so smooth and she fell so she just stood like this. I did. It was nice. She's so adorable. Well, it is 12 o'clock. Aren't we a morning person? Aren't we a morning person? Yes, we are. We are a morning person. Yes. yes. I'm still sleepy. Yes. Oh, Dixie came to say hello. Yeah. Aren't they so cute? Look at those ears. I have ears? They both have beautiful yawn ears. Look how big they are. Are you looking at the people? Are you? Are you looking at the people? Say good morning, people. Good morning. Yeah, but if I didn't say the time, they wouldn't know what time of day it was. Good morning. Anyway, we have just had. Oh, thumb. Hello, thumb. Uh, we've just had breakfast, we're about to have a coffee, and... Ooh! Have a close-up of that! I don't know what that is. Hmm, that's different. Um, I am failing, yes. Um, and then... We're off to the hospital! Yay! Don't you just... Love it! Not! The girls are going to be staying here though because we need to go to B&Q after. I hope they're going to be okay. I was contemplating taking them for a run before. See if I can tire them out, but... We shall see. Until then. Do you want me to hold your hand or rub your belly or I don't understand what you want. I'll hold your Oh I think I know what she wants. What? <laughs> belly rubs. Oh. Look at those feathers on her arms. They're gorgeous! And I'm gonna leave you with that. So we got this fabric stuff. It's like really, really soft. It's got like little bubble bits on. And we got some like leftover bits. So with our leftover ribbons, I'm going to make, you know, one of those um, blankets that have like the ribbons that come out the end, like a little taggy thing. I'm just gonna make one of them purely because I can really so hopefully by the end of the day that will be done depending on how exhausted I am by the end of today but I'm going to make a start on it now and we've got about 45 minutes till we're going to leave and we've got some really really cool ribbons I'm not going to show them all to you because you can wait until it's done but that's my latest project look guys it's the bottle holder that Louisa made me, and it's got my water in. <laughs> Doesn't it fit so perfectly? And it's not near my wheel, so it won't get caught. Perfecto! We made it! Jokes. We made it to the end of the road. It turns out oxygen cylinders and a... A wheelchair ramp on the car make a stupidly banging noise. So sorry for changing it. Because it's very, very annoying. Isn't it? Yeah. Girl! We made it so far! 
But, on the good news, we did make it out of the house. Which means we are on the way. We literally got less than a minute down the road though. Yeah. So, you know, progress. At least I started now and I'm halfway through and I can really This stop. is very true. Um, let's see. <laughs> well. Oh, it's gone quite dark. There you go. Well. We had to leave the girls behind. They've really thought they were coming with us. I don't like leaving them. They always come with us everywhere. But the problem is, we need to go in earlier to um, get travel money back. You went cold. Uh, quiet. Uh? Why did the car turn off? I can't get in unless I use the steering wheel to help me get up. Oh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got to leave earlier because we had to get the money because it shuts before our service appointment. So, and then we've got to go to B&Q afterwards. So we're going to be a couple of hours. So we've had to leave them at home. They really thought that they were coming with us. Yeah. You probably didn't catch that, but Sophie Swinton said that we also had to leave ridiculously early as well. Not just because of getting the money back, but the appointment's right on traffic time. And we're going into the city. So it's leave now or sit in traffic. So, <laughs> so yeah, we, we opted for the... Um, there's a man staring at me and it's very intense. He's right by the side of the car. He's a grass cutter. Look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. But yeah. We have to leave the girls. It's very, very rare that we leave the girls. Very rare. Look at the beautiful... Oh. Hedge. <laughs> This is right outside our door, guys. Beautiful. So, uh, next time we see you, we'll be somewhere else. But I don't know when we're going to pick the camera up, so it will be somewhere else. We're here. But I've just noticed this. I've got a red nose. I don't know because nothing was on it. What's going on? Huh? I don't think so. Anyway, now that we're here, I wanted to show you guys that I can now see the window in which that I used to wave at Sue. That's what I'm going to show you. So it is. That one, right there. Yes, it took so for about three weeks to figure it out. It was but yeah, that's where I used to wave at so when she was in this car park, coming to meet me, or when she was leaving. Yay! We've um, we've just pulled in, and. There was a motorbike parked in the ambulance bit, so the ambulance man just moved the bike. Which is, is I don't blame him, but it's slightly worrying that that bike's locks clearly don't work. So that was uh, quite entertaining. So that bike really isn't secure at all because it moves so easily. Oh well. The lock went, went through the wheel. What, on that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, but it still moved, so that, they right? clearly didn't put it on no, very well. Clearly not. But we are here. No, let's go through the bottom one, and we'll just go through the shop bit first. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we are here. We're going to have a little mosey, go get the money, have something to eat, kind of kill some time until 
Sophie's appointment. Because we've got two and a quarter hours. Yeah, but we, like I said before, we had to do it because of the money place shut in and traffic. So yeah, and, I'd rather be here than in the car. As well, in it because usually when yeah sometimes when we've come here, I've had to wait an hour just to be able to park. Yeah, so it's just been a bit of a nightmare. So we'll see you in a bit. Dinner is served. And I got a toasty. Yay. <laughs> Look at this. Figured we'd kill some time and do our tea all at the same time. Yum. Hello. Sophie's in the scanner now. It's really hot in here though. We had a bit of a delay because um, there was an emergency and a little baby. Um, needed an urgent scan and was unconscious so we said that we would wait but they've moved us to a, a different scanner um, they were going to say that we can come back tomorrow but well we don't know if Sophie's leg would be able to drive us here so and we've got the consultant on Tuesday so we decided that we would much rather wait um, but yeah she's in there now I can hear the scanner going so hopefully it won't be much longer and we'll be out, fingers crossed anyway. Just because it looks cool, I thought I would show you these. And if you've never had an MRI before and you're about to and you want to know a bit of information, here's some for you here. And there's also... It's there. I 
I've also just noticed this, which I think is super cool. It shows scans over joints. The foot and the knee is really, really cool. So yeah, I'm bored. This waiting area is just full of facts today. Here, have some more facts. I've always forgot to vlog this, but I absolutely love this statue that Derek had put up at their hospital a few years ago. It's, I mean, I've never seen the other side of it, but this side of it is always so beautiful. And I really like it. That's <laughs> it's like me and Soph. It, it literally is. Yeah. Although, I'm about that height with you when I'm stood. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. Oh, hello, person. <laughs> Rude. B and Q, two kids of pain for the Harry Potter room. Eek. <laughs> had some food and we're just discussing my oxygen because Stop <laughs> I'm not I'm still freaking going um we bought three three big tanks and a little tank with us which ordinarily that is supposed to be that's seven hours worth of oxygen and we've got an hour left and we are literally it's an hour to get home and if there's traffic, I'm screwed. I've got no oxygen. Um, so now that we've done a proper appointment day and whatever else, I think we've now established that having cylinders for me is not appropriate. Um, it's going to have to be the case that we go back to my portable concentrator and have cylinders on top. Um, I think that's the only way that we're su successfully going to be able to have an independent life that I'm not going to be constantly worried that we're going to run out altogether. I mean, even having, <clears throat> we was in KFC having some tea then, and even then my oxygen had ran out and I, I didn't realise. Whereas at least with my portable concentrator, it beeps and it warns. So um, it'll give us a chance to like put it back on charge or something like that because we always carry the chargers with us. So I think that's helped us make our decision that portable concentrator and cylinders is going to yeah, be the best really. for our, like, our lifestyle. Is but, that coming through? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. But it's freezing. Yeah, it's the oxygen or just in general? In general. Oh, and I've got, got a really chilly nose oh, and having... Yeah. Four litres of air being blown up, it doesn't make it any warmer. But we're gonna go home and go see our babies. It's we, been a long day. Yeah, we expect that Alba's probably chewed something. Yeah. Alba's generally pretty good, but when we've been out for a long time, she she gets a little bit bored and distracted no matter what we provide for her. So she goes on the hunt. So we make sure ev oh Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so we always try and take everything out of the way that could 
that would mean something to us if it got chewed and it would upset us. We've always moved that. Like, we had a parcel delivered this morning that I hadn't had a chance to open. <coughs> so we moved that. But the last time this happened, Alba managed to find something that was extremely tucked away. So we are anticipating it. It's usually stuff that does mean something to us that she finds. Yeah. Like, the last Something time. that we have touched a lot or means a lot to us and it's got our scent on it. Yeah. That's what it gets drawn more to. And like last time, it was um, a, a drink coaster that yeah. um, us. That... A drink coaster of all things. I bought it for Soph. When we became homeless a few years back, we went into temporary accommodation and we wasn't allowed Dixie with us. So Dixie moved into um, foster care um, with the lovely Michelle. And we're just forever grateful for like her looking after Dixie. We, if, if she couldn't have done that, we would have had to have given her up altogether, which means we wouldn't have had Alba now either. So... Alba managed to find this coaster that I bought Soph for the temporary house that had pictures of myself, Soph and Dixie on. I'd just also like to point out, it was on the cupboard. Yeah. But she couldn't get it. A four foot high cupboard. Yeah. What? So she must have jumped. Yeah, really jumped. And she chewed the end of it. She did. Luckily, it was like a pack of three or four. Four. So We've actually got more. And we've got the but, main print left over. I mean, yeah. we've still kept the coaster. We have. Because it's now got, it's got Alba's mark on it. Yeah. But it's not the point. So we're anticipating her having chewed something. Hmm. And your artwork as well. Yes. Watch this space. You can hear it though when she comes <laughs> up. Hi! Hey. 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 <laughs> Dixie's at the front. I tried to refocus on the thing, but it's not doing it. Are you ready, man? Funny, go on then. Yeah. Watch that door need a push. Hi! Hi, Hi baby Hi, girls! Hi! Beautiful! Hi! 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 Right, let's go in then. Hi! Oh, it's a bit dark. Unicorn, is that what you're showing me? Is that unicorn? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, the people can see you now. I'm wild. Have I been good? Baby girl. You gonna go babies? Yeah. And we're home. So we're just waiting for the girls' food to cool down and they'll have their tea. But it's ten o'clock at night. And this girl is still so wild. Because you've been so good, haven't you? You're going to tell the people how good you've been? Yeah? Well, there's the people. Tell the people. They're here. Say, I, I'm, I'm a good girl. Yeah. We're very proud of you, aren't we? And just like that, she's gone again.
stop you. Oh, I got the camera out and Dixie ran away. Oh, I thought that was rude. No, she's down there. You can just about see an ear. I can see two ears and a face. Dixie? Oh! Hello. Hi, Dixie. You're going to say hello to the people? <coughs> hello, people. She said hello to you. Alba's ready for wipes, Dixie's throwing the ball, but it's been a bloody exhausting day, and I've just done my nebs. <laughs> Me trying to move like a <laughs> beached whale, Whoa. that is the most attractive thing ever. It's a bit like your arse in yesterday's, yeah, or two days I ago. Apologize. I don't, entertainment. <laughs> anyway, the girls are ready. I'm ready to take my tablets, add me hot chocolate and go to bed because I'm connacked. Ditto. And on that note, Dixie throws a ball, Alba has the wipes, and good night. Night.